And this class uh, started out, it was going to be one semester of choir, one semester of guitar. And um, it didn't quite work out that way. So we ended up with two gentlemen that took first semester. Um, and that would be uh, Tez and Kaya and uh, Will. Um, but Will is not here tonight. And then second semester, it was again Tezekiah and Kathir joined us. So could I have Kathir and Tez come up here, please? some music classes, I think. Some, like, maybe choir or something. Anyway, so he came along and um, he had a guitar at home but he really didn't know how to play it. Um, and he has come a really long ways in, uh, in two semesters in one year. Um, I was pleasantly surprised to find out that he has a pretty good ear. Um, and by that I mean, can you hear a melody and then try to pick it out without maybe even be able to read the music? And he can do that just pretty darn well. Um, and then, uh, of course, he learned a few things like how to read music as well and some chords and things. So I feel like he really came a long ways. Um, so Mr. Tez was involved with uh, guitar for first and second semesters. Um, he also accompanied the sixth graders at the Christmas concert. And he will be accompanying the fifth and sixth graders at the spring concert. He will be playing a bass guitar for us and he'll be playing his electric guitar. And um, it's just been a pleasure to get to know you, Tess. And uh, congratulations, and thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then um, Kathir came along second semester, and um, this gentleman here just kind of uh, uh, blew my mind, so to speak, uh, because the last time I'd seen him was, for guitar anyway, was probably, mm, well, ninth grade, I guess. Eighth grade, ninth grade, that was when COVID hit. We couldn't do band anymore, and then we changed to guitars. And um, lo and behold, it was after his, I think his eighth grade year, he got inspired to go get himself an electric guitar. And he came back last year, ninth grade, and I was amazed, like, where did you learn how to play like this? I mean, this guy can play anything that you put in front of him. Um, and I, I just, it's been a real challenge to try to keep on, keep him challenged, to be quite frank. <laughs> but I just, he can play anything. Solos, uh, bar chords, up and down the neck. He, he can pick out anything. It's just amazing. Um, so it's been a real pleasure to uh, have him in class again for this semester. And, um, and I tell you, the both of these guys, they come in, they get the guitars fired up, uh, they turn on the amps, I have to turn them down, and then, uh, and then they just jam. I mean, it's, it's okay, let's, let's do my lesson plan now, uh, let's do my lesson plan now, let's do my lesson plan now. Uh, but it's just amazing just to sit and watch them and listen to them play. It's been a real treat. So, Kathir joined his second semester, and there wasn't a lot of performance opportunities, but he will be accompanying in the spring concert, um, the fifth and sixth graders, and he will be playing um, his electric, and Tez over here is gonna be filling in on the bass and the rhythm stuff, and Kathir just does everything else. So, uh, <laughs> it's been a real pleasure to have you, Kathir, in class this semester. Thank you for being here. one semester and or to choir I should say not guitar and um, we he really his voice really developed quite a bit um, he was very passionate about singing and so even though we didn't have a class for him he came in on my advisory time or my my plan time which is during advisory probably two three sometimes more than that times a week um, throughout the year pretty consistently um, and it was just a real pleasure to uh, get to hear him sing again, even though it wasn't a real class. 
Um, and so we were able to uh, take him to a high school honor choir and um, he actually performed a solo at the solo uh, contest over at um, OJC. And, um, and then after, after that, he's also uh, has a great interest in learning how to play the piano, basically taught himself and he's been writing his own songs. And so he likes to come in lunch break sometimes and advisory and just play around the piano. And uh, it's, you might have heard it sometimes on the stage too. So Derek Powell, would you come forward please? Derek uh, did attend the Arc Valley High School Honor Choir this year, and he did a solo at the solo contest, and he said that he would be willing to sing the solo at the spring concert as well, which is gonna be May the 11th. So uh, come back and hear him sing, and um, Derek, it's just been a pleasure to work with you this year. Thank you. And then we have one more high school student um, that participated in quite a few musical events this year. Although this, uh, this girl was not involved in our SWEET program, but she is a member of the um, Arc Valley Children's Chorale. And as such, she was able to try out for the high school choir fest, the Arc Valley High School Choir Fest. And she also auditioned and was able to go to Western Slope Honor Choir. So Kyra Beerbaum, would you come forward? <laughs> you asked my mom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite surprised to get the certificate. Um, but anyway, because she is a SWIG student, not my student necessarily, but she's able to participate in all these events by virtue of being in that Rock Valley Children's Corral. So congratulations, Kyra, um, on a great year and best of luck for next year. Um, and also, I, maybe Ms. Gross had already mentioned this, um, I had some junior high students, and she does too, that participated in music this year, but I believe we are going to wait till another date to honor all the junior high kids. Gannon's going like, oh, I don't have to come up front, yay. <laughs> anyway, so we will do that uh, at another date, and now here is Mrs. Grossen. <laughs> <laughs> 